What's going on YouTube? Brand Nose Tech here from techinform.us and I'm going to do a hopefully a short Photoshop tutorial here on how to get that effect that Apple uses. I think it's just called a reflection effect. Um, if you go to apple.com, half the freaking images they have here, not the easiest thing to see. I'll zoom in, but um, for example, under this Mac OS X thing here, you see how it looks like the um, the envelope is on glass, and you can see part of the bottom of it, and then it goes into a gradient. I'm going to show you how to do that with images from Photoshop here. I don't know. Maybe this is pretty basic, and I was the really slow one that it took a while to figure out. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably an easier way to do it. And it, this is, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it isn't exactly what I would call difficult. So anyways, it's the reflection effect. You can really personalize it, make it look, <clears throat> make it look different, um, how strong or light you want it. But first, you're going to need to open Photoshop or a very similar application that'll do the same thing. In this video, we're going to be using Adobe Photoshop CS4 Extended. And yes, this is legal for all the people that are going to ask. Create a new document. Uh, for the sake of this, we're just going to call it test. Um, we're going to do it in 1920, 1080 because I feel like it. <clears throat> I'm going to say OK. And here it is. So for the fun of things, let's open an image for the background. How about something from this folder? Let's use, uh, how about we use that? There's our background image. Now let's say on top of that, we're going to open another image. <clears throat> Go into documents for this one. And we'll use the picture of the BMW that was yesterday's wallpaper. So first we'll drag this picture <clears throat> using the drag tool over to our new image. I don't know why anybody would be making this image. This is really just for playing around with its sake. Um, Command T on a Mac anyways, control on a PC to resize it. Hold down shift on the keyboard as you resize it to keep its form. We're going to drag it over the apple. I know that's a sin, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to do it. So that is automatically our new layer. Layer 0 is our background. Layer 1, if we turn that off, that's the BMW. Right click on layer 1. Duplicate layer. You don't really need to rename it unless you want to. Click OK. Now you have two of the same layer. Go on the copied layer that you just did. Edit. Transform. Flip vertical. Now you have an upside down image. <clears throat> drag that to the bottom here. Line it up. You can turn on your grid if you want. I'm just going to zoom in on it to make sure that it's pretty close. And if you were really lazy, you could leave it there. It kind of looks cheap, but uh, you could do that. Now when you're on that layer, put a layer mask on it. If you don't know what that is, it's in the bottom uh, here of your layer palette. It is the third one, in at least in Photoshop CS4, and it says Add Layer Mask. Click on that. Now you have a layer mask on it. Go over to your gradient tool. Make sure that black is your foreground color and white is your background color. Um, I always hold shift as I do this to make sure it's a straight line. And then start at the bottom and go up. May have to do this five, ten times. That is going to create a gradient here um, that will minimize that layer, I guess. And there it is. Probably not the best image I could have done this with since the main subject is not at the bottom of the picture. But uh, there would be that. So if you wanted to add more, you would select both of those layers, including the reflection image and the regular image. Select both of them, right hand click, clink, that makes sense. Right hand click and then click on merge layers. So now that's one layer. <clears throat> Go back to our drag tool. Let's say we want to put that up here. Let's try it again with a better image. All right, so we'll use this Lamborghini image here. Well, first of all, I don't want all this white on here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my magic wand tool, select this white, and just delete that. And as you can see, that's going to leave my background color, but that doesn't matter. So now get your drag tool, whoops, unlock your layer, get your drag tool, and should be able to <laughs> delete that crap, pick this up, <clears throat> and drag it to the image that we've made. There it is. Now some of that blue is still there, so your magic wand can work again. And there it is. Command D to deselect. So here's your other image. Image. We'll put that up here. Same thing. Duplicate 
Okay, edit, transform, flip vertical, drag it down right below it, put a layer mask on it, gradient tool, black foreground, white background. If, it, if this isn't working for you, I should point out up at the top left here, you want to make sure that you're on the second one in, the, the gradient, um, the transparent gradient. <clears throat> And then your shift tool, build shift just to keep it straight, and uh, and drag it up. So you can see that's not as profound as the BMW, but it is there, and it kind of gives that transparent-like effect. Again, to merge them, select them both, right-click, merge layers, and uh, now those are together. So of course that can be made as um, significant, so you can see it really well, or transparent as you want. You can drag layers around. As you can see, you can see the apple through this layer. If I drag that up, then that one will disappear. Photoshop is a really great tool. If you don't have it, try getting it. Um, getting it illegally, of course, is an option, but with some that's frowned upon. <clears throat> Anyways, there's, uh, there's how to do your reflection effect. If you notice, back when I was a partner on my old channel, I used to make those thumbnail images, and I would take the image make that 192 by 80 or whatever the resolution was they wanted us to use as partners uh, flip it and I would do that effect just because it looks better I think Apple is really the one that brought that into uh, realism with um, with the reflections but still cool so there it is guys thanks if you knew that um, sorry I just wasted seven minutes and 20 seconds of your life. If you didn't, then you just learned something in seven minutes and 20 seconds. So thanks for watching. Once again, our website, techinform.us, my personal Twitter, twitter.com slash James R. Schultz. And our live, uh, live web shows are every Tuesday night from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on ustream.tv slash techinformus. Thanks, guys. See you in tomorrow's recording. Bye.